emphasize that. Verse number 15, he said, and he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's evangelism. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. One, in my name, they will cast out demons. Two, they will speak with new tongues. Three, they will take up serpents. Four, if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Five, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Jump down to verse number 20, Mark chapter number 16, verse number 20 now. What did he say there? And they went out and preached where? Everywhere. The Lord walking with them and confirming the world through the accompanying signs. Amen. This was what happened then and this is what is still happening today. And we are going to see it in our days. This is why we are calling this conference what? Bible Days Power Conference. We want our generation to awake to the reality as Hebrews 13 verse number 9 tells us. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Yesterday, today and forever. He's still doing the same things. His word never fails. His word doesn't have a statute of limitation. As we receive this word today, I want your faith to rise. Rise to expect to receive from the Lord miracle. Rise to receive from the Lord breakthrough. Rise to receive from the Lord transformation. That something will open up in your spirit. That your eyes will be opened. That you will know that what you are encountering right now is not just an ordinary man. But you are encountering the word of God. And that word of God can deliver you. That word of God can produce in your life whatever you desire. If you can only reach out and receive from him. Miracles are things that God will do in your life. You know in your logical sense or in your human resources or ability. This would not be possible except God was with me. That's a miracle. It is time, people of God, that we begin to expect God to intervene in every area of our lives, whether they be medical situations, marital situations, financial, or family, or emotional, or there are situations that you want to break through. There is something that is going on in your family that you get to a certain point, you say, enough is enough. I am demanding and declaring a turnaround that no person again in my family should have this experience again. Friends, that's a miracle. That is what we are talking about when we talk about breakthroughs. Praise the Lord. The power of God can set the captives free. It's still happening today. It is not just words. It is the ability of the word of God to make bitter waters sweet. Bitter lives sweet. Lives that the enemy thought he has derailed. When you believe and you receive that and you keep on proclaiming it, I'm telling you the captives will be set free. That yoke will be broken and the body removed by your power of God. As we talk about this tonight, I want you just begin to rejoice and begin to recount in your mind, in your spirit, that area of your life where you want to see it turn around. Bible Days Power Conference is telling us the same Jesus of the Bible is the same Jesus that we are talking about. Verse number 8, Acts chapter number 14. It said, and in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting a cripple from his mother's womb who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul observing him intently and seeing that he had failed to be healed said with a loud voice. Said how? With a loud voice. Paul was under the anointing, under the auction. Unction of the Holy Spirit. He had to get to the, get the attention of this man. It wasn't the loud voice that did it. The loud voice was necessary to get the attention of this man. Hello? With a loud voice, what did he say? Stand on your faith. What kind of a man is in his senses calls or command a man born crippled from his mother's womb to stand on his feet? Hello, somebody. Hello? Did you hear what I just said? 
This man we've been told was born crippled from his mother's womb. What kind of a man says to a crippled man, stand on your feet. You must be walking on a certain degree of faith in another dimension for you to see that though this man may be physically lame, but because you are functioning in the dimension of faith, you are seen beyond what is available or visible in the physical. Amen. This is how you should begin to address your situation. Yes, you may feel in your situation you are limited, but see what is normal, what is the standard, or what is it that God has ordained for you. Speak to that situation and call it to be. Jesus spoke to the winds and the sea. You look at your bank account and it's dry. What are you saying? What you say is what you are going to get. You look at tomorrow, you know what? Life is so tough these days. There are some people when it is night, they hope that tomorrow never come. Amen? Friends, we must get to this point whereby we don't allow the things, the physical environment and what we see determine what we desire from God. As Paul was declaring the world, the authority of the word of God was present. And the Bible said, Paul perceiving that this man was receiving the word, called him out. This is the operation of the gift of the word of knowledge. He foresaw what this man, I mean, this man, though he was sitting down there lame, he could see there was something going on in this man. And he commanded this man, he said, stay on your feet. What happened? And he stood, leap, and he walked. Hello, somebody. The people in Lystra thought they've seen it all. They were idol worshippers. Let's continue reading. He said, now when the people saw what Paul had done, they raised their voices. Hello. Saying in the Lyconian language, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. Friends, they lost it. Now, now they, they lost their mind. Hello. Now, now, it is important. Theologians believe the Lyconian language was different from the general Greek language. The Greek language was the, was the overall, the, the Greek language was the overall language. The speak Greek and they also retain their original language, the Lyconian language. When they saw what Paul did, the Bible said they broke out in the Lyconian language. They lost their mind. They thought they've seen it all. They began to say, everybody, they, now listen, I want you to, this is, this is, what did they say? They said what? The gods have come to us in the likeness of men. Paul and Barnabas were ordinary men like me and you. But because they had, they had encountered Jesus, they were functioning in a level of hate. They were no longer just an ordinary men and women. Everybody could walk in the dimension or every minister could do this. But it was only those who taught or who considered themselves or who have allowed the Holy Spirit to expose them to this level of faith that will walk in this level of faith. Amen? In the times that we are living now, I haven't seen what COVID has done to the body of Christ. Friends, I'm telling you, there is time, and this is the time that we begin to walk, ministers of the gospel, as if we are God's, which God ordained us to be. In John chapter number 10, verse 34 to 36, the Bible says, Jesus speaking there says, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. You know what Pharaoh said concerning uh, Joseph? He said, there is no one like you in whom there is what? The spirit of the gods. He considered jail Joseph to be a god because of the wisdom with which he interpreted his dream. When Nebuchadnezzar had that dream and asked his magicians, he said, you got to tell me that dream, I ain't telling you, but you got to tell me the dream and interpret the dream. The magicians and sorcerers said, no king, nobody has ever done this kind of a thing. 
And the only person that can interpret this dream is not among us. That person must be a God who can know your dream and interpret the same dream. Then, what happened? Later on in the same that chapter of Daniel 3, the Bible said, so Daniel chapter number 2, the Bible said what? Daniel prayed with his companions. I'm coming over that now. Companions. When he heard what the king was requesting, he went to his companions. The Bible said they sought the mercy of God, that God will reveal that dream and the interpretation to them so that they will not be destroyed along with the world. Friends, we are for the solution, the salvation of the world. And the Bible, listen very carefully, the magicians have told Nebuchadnezzar, the only person who can interpret your dream must be a man in whom is in him the spirit of the gods. Hello? So when Daniel came and interpreted the dream, what was Daniel? He was in the dimension of the gods. Daniel was no longer an ordinary man in the level of the magicians. He was on another level. Amen? Friends, the things that I'm telling you right now, it is not my idea. I didn't read them from the library. I didn't hear them from the news, news, news. No. It is the word of God. Jesus himself said, I have given you power and authority that you might go in my name, heal the sick, all kind of sicknesses and diseases. Set the captives free, raise the dead, preach the gospel, deliver men and women from the captive of the devil. He said, open their eyes. That's the command that Jesus gave to Paul. In his earthly days, in his earthly life, Paul fulfilled it. And I'm declaring to you today by the authority of the word of God, it is my turn and my time. I'm stepping into that apostolic authority because the days that we are living in require that a man will stand and declare the word of God with signs and wonders to the glory of our risen Jesus. Just sermonizing and theorizing will not do it. It is not my idea. I discover what God wants to be done and I'm only accepting the offer to drive the bus. Hello? I'm only accepting the offer to drive the bus. And I'm going to drive this bus to the glory of God. And I'm going to drive this bus to bring revival to the land. And I'm going to drive this bus until every man and woman in our generation hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to drive this bus to glorify the name of Jesus. I'm going to drive this bus until revival flow from the northern county cities of California to the southern counties. I'm going to drive this bus. Revival has begun. Revival is flowing. People of God, I'm declaring to you today that which God has already ordained in the archives of eternity, that in this time, in such a time as this, he is bringing us into the kingdom that his name may be glorified. Amen. It is not my idea. It is the will of God. I only discover that which is available and I'm saying, Lord, here I am. Send me. Amen. Be glorified in me. Amen. That's why it said, it said the, the caption of it again is what? Power and authority to do marvelous and greater works. In John chapter number 14, Jesus said to us there, he said, those who believe in me, he said, greater works than these you will do. In John chapter number 1, verse number 50, Jesus speaking there said to the disciples, he said, do you believe in this? He said, greater works than these, greater things than these you will see. In John chapter number 11, verse number 40, when he was talking to Martha and Mary as they wept about the hopelessness that resulted from the death of their brother. Hello? Hello? They were, they were mourning. Nobody could console them. But Jesus came to them and said to them, Did I not say to you that if you will believe, you will see the glory of God? Friends, that is still the message that I'm bringing. God is asking me to tell the body of Christ. God is saying to the body of Christ, Did I not say to you that if you will believe, you will see the glory of God? God is saying to you today, The storm has struck. The life that we used to know is no longer the same. But I'm saying to you, if you will believe, you will see the glory of God. 
Friends, we must get to that point whereby we do not allow our circumstances or the things that are going on to define our expectations. No, if we do that, we will all fail and be like the world. We will also be shouting or crying the same cry that the world is crying. The time has come for those who believe in God to rise up. The Bible said in, 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 Psalm, in Psalm number 110, think verse number 3. It says in the day of his power, the people will be volunteers. The things that are happening right now, friends, require believers to rise up with deeper pursuit. To pursue God and chase after God and say, God, unless you bless me, I am not going to let you alone. Unless you reveal yourself to me, God, I am not giving up. There is no other place to go. I cannot give up nor be a victim. This is not the time to chicken out on God. This is not the time to pull back and say, I am afraid of COVID. No, no, no. That is exactly what the devil wants you to do. Hallelujah. Now, now I, I, I made mention earlier in, uh, in Mark chapter number. Somebody just minister in the spirit with me for a little bit. Somebody just minister in the spirit with me for a little bit. a release from heaven right now. Matos. Metele pare pare ke yapata. New doors have been opened. New doors have been opened. The land before me is blessed. The land before me is open. Lord, I open the doors you have opened, and no man can close it. No government can close it. No conspiracy can close it. Yete yete para babende ke ya. The lost will be saved. The sick will be healed. The blind will see the dead we hear. Kele poro papa. Yeke seke what you have done before. Lord, you are doing it again. And I give you praise and give you glory. For revival has come. That revival has come. It has already begun. And Lord, tonight we declare, you will declare the move of the Holy Ghost. We declare revival all across this land. We declare unstoppable move of God. No demon can stop it. No gates of hell can stop it. No politician can stop it. No government can stop it. No conspiracy can stop it. No gathering against God can stop it. The Bible says the heathens, they gather against the Lord, but he shall laugh at them and he saw displeasure and he shall speak against them and scatter them. Father Lord, we thank you tonight for no weapon formed against us will prosper that as we press forward to take California for you, to declare the gospel, to open the eyes of the blind and deliver men and women from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of Jesus. Lord, I declare we are unstoppable. Lord, I declare every stronghold and every strong man is bound tonight in the name of Jesus. We bring condemnation upon principalities and powers. We command them to be subject to the name of Jesus Christ. We will declare the gospel of Jesus with authority and revival has started in the name of Jesus. That devil is a liar. Righteousness will reign from coast to coast in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible declared it, that the move of God, the move of God is here. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, the young and the old. They shall receive the outpouring of the spirit, men and women. And this is the season. This is the day of power. Lord, I declare, let it flow, let it flow. Winds of the Holy Ghost blow upon California. Winds of the Holy Ghost blow upon the nations of the world. Winds of the Holy Ghost move. Winds of the Holy Ghost move to bring in a harvest. Harvest, harvest, the God at whose word the fish came into the net, the God of the quail, we command now in the name of Jesus. Winds of the Holy Ghost bring the harvest. Set the cat is free. Mi robo shandale keyabakasa. Ikeleba kema sondokoya. Hey, kayema taga. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the authority of your word, Lord. I declare, Father, liberty for your people now. Anyone, oh God, called bound. Anyone called, oh God, sick. Anyone called, oh God, in pain. Anyone, oh God, that is called oppressed. Canimbro, you pay. Raye kemando so. Lord, you sent forth your word, and your word healed and delivered them. 
Faster in the name of Jesus, Lord. You are Lord of the earth. I send forth your word now to your people. Those in the house and those who watching everywhere. Lord, I declare liberty for your people. I declare healing for your people. I declare deliverance for your people. I declare transformation for your people. Let their eyes, oh God, be open. Let there be breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural encounter for your people today. In the name of Jesus.